Hi hey everyone, it's Miranda, and I'm not wearing any makeup, so I apologize for that. Um, what I wanted to talk about uh, this morning was a video I saw on YouTube, and it was a lady who uh, was talking about the consequences of Hurricane Katrina and the actions that uh, Dr. Anapo and the nurses engaged in from the killing the patients with morphine and Versed. And I want to come and say it on one of the things, one of the statements that this lady made. She said that because of all of this, their lives have been totally ruined. That is absolutely not true. Now, I can't talk in terms of the two nurses, since I don't know them, but in terms of Dr. Poe or Anna, this whole um, story has not, uh, has not ruined her or ruined her life at all. In fact, um, she still uh, works at Louisiana State University, so she kept her job there. She got a job as a surgeon at Lady of the Lake Hospital in Baton Rouge. So she's working there. She's working two jobs, receiving two paychecks. Uh, she kept her medical credentials. Um, also, she received from the taxpayers of the state of Louisiana a check in the amount of $400,000 pay all of her legal fees. Uh, she also received a letter of apology uh, from Louisiana State Legislature for the, um, uh, I guess, the suffering that she went through in terms of the grand jury. Um, and also she helped write a bill that is now law in Louisiana it basically says that in the event of a man-made or natural disaster, doctors will not be held legally responsible for their actions. If they engage in actions that seem um, uh, suspicious, if they go before a board made up entirely of their peers. So for Anna, um, this has not um, ruined her life uh, at all. In fact, as I said, she um, she kept her job, um, she kept her medical credentials, she got four hundred thousand dollars, she got a letter of apology. Uh, so her life was not ruined uh, at all. I'll tell you a person though whose life was not ruined, but uh, greatly negatively impacted by what happened, and that was the Attorney General at the time, Charles Foley. Uh, uh, and his supporters sort of cast him in this very bad light uh, that he was out to get Anna, uh, the medical community, and you know, shame on him. So let me just tell you, he was elected by the voters of Louisiana to do a job. And part of that job included investigating possible criminal activity. Okay? He received numerous letters and reports from doctors and nurses working at Memorial Hospital who said that something terrible had happened and said that Dr. Poe and these two nurses were responsible for killing patients. What was Charles Foley supposed to do? Was he supposed to say, oh, I don't believe that, and throw the documents out? No, he had a, a, a job uh, to um, investigate possible criminal activity. So that's exactly what he did. Um, uh, he did his job. That's what he was paid to do, and that's what he did. I mean, the, um, investigation lasted uh, just over a year. 
involved nearly a hundred individuals from local, state, and federal government. Um, uh, but the voters in Louisiana, I guess, sided with Anna's supporters, and he was not reelected, so he so he lost his job. Okay, Anna didn't lose her job. Anna not only kept her job, she also got four hundred thousand dollars. You think Charles Bowden got four hundred thousand dollars? Of course not. Um, so in terms of this whole ordeal ruining um, Anna's life, it absolutely has not done that at all. Uh, she's kept her job, she's kept her license, she's received money, she's received a letter of apology, and she helped uh, write uh, a law governing, well, dealing with uh, Dr. Action during, you know, and made her natural disaster. Um, so the lady that did that video said that it ruined their lives. I just want you to know it hasn't ruined uh, Anna's life at all. But if you want to talk about lives that are ru have been ruined by this, you should talk to me. As a result of my involvement, uh, not only with Anna, but also with the uh, Attorney General's Office and the District Attorney's Office, as a result of my involvement with all of them. I lost my job. I lost my apartment. Um, I lost my vehicle. Um, I am technically homeless. I've lived on the street. I'm now in sort of a halfway house. And I have to take a tremendous amount of medication each day for depression and anxiety. I've tried to kill myself numerous times. I've ended up in the psychiatric hospital more times than I could even count. Uh, so if you want to, if you if you want to talk to someone quite as ruined, my life is completely turned upside down uh, by all of this. Um, but that's, you know, that's another video. Um, but again, in terms of Anna, it, um, it did not ruin uh, her life uh, at all. So I'll go ahead and Post uh, this, and um, you can read it. There's also one other thing I want to say before I, before I turn this off. Well, Anna's supporters, you know, they spend a lot of time talking not about the patients on the seventh floor that were killed, but they spend a lot of time talking about the horrible conditions in the hospital. At the time that those patients were killed, as though there is some connection between the horrible uh, conditions of the hospital and the killing of the of the patients, uh, let me just say that there uh, no there is no connection between the two, and if they say that there is, they're simply not telling you the truth. Because you explain to me how you go from oh these are horrible conditions to kill these patients. It makes no sense. You know, I and I've worked in the medical field with the CNA, and we have some bad situations in the nursing home. But did you say, oh well, you know, the situation is so bad, we just go ahead and kill the patients? Of course not. That's ridiculous. So. Even though the conditions were bad at the hospital, it, it wasn't the conditions that motivated Anna and the nurses to kill the patients. That was not the motivation um, at all. And that's also, you know, when they talk like that, uh, or they talk about how bad the storm was, to me, it's what they're doing is trying to assign responsibility uh, uh, to 
someone or something other than themselves. In other words, oh, what I did oh, was because of Katrina. Okay? Well, no. As I said before, it wasn't Katrina that stuck a needle in the patient's arm and killed them. It wasn't the horrible uh, living conditions of the hospital that took a needle and stuck it in the patient's arm and killed them. It was a human being made a conscious uh, choice to kill the patient, planned how to do it, and then went ahead and did it. The fact that she was arrested for four counts of second degree murder, if it had been me, I would have prosecuted her for four counts of first degree premeditated murder because that's exactly what it was. She just didn't get up one morning at the hospital, so I, I don't know if I had to kill, you know, kill a bunch of patients. She planned that. She had to plan it out. She had to plan out what kind of medication she was going to give them, what the correct dose to kill them would be, and so on and so forth. So, um, there really is no correlation between the horrible conditions of the hospital and the fact that she and some other employees uh, turned around so much paper. But that's also another video. What I would like you to walk away from this video is that A, this whole thing did not ruin Anna's life or her reputation. Um, and B, that the uh, conditions of the hospital we're not somehow responsible for Anna's decision uh, to, kill, uh, to kill those patients. And, um, you know, Anna supporters, again, they talk a lot about Anna and how this has affected her. They, they never mention how this has affected the families of the victims. Um, how they feel about having lost their loved one. Um, they never talk about that. Um, they don't talk about how it has affected me uh, with my connection, with this, with this nightmare. It has been a nightmare for me. As I say, it completely turned my life upside down. Um, but anyway, so that's all I was going to uh, say today. And I'll talk to you later. And